a very important point to consider is to make sure that your crosshair is exactly in the center of your prism. A good way to track that is to move your turtle station, tilt it down to make sure that it's on the point and then tilt it up and make sure that it's up until the center of the prism. As I can see, we're in five millimeters difference from our checkpoint. This means that we are to the desired accuracy for the type of survey we're going to do here today. So we'll go ahead and measure some spot shots. Welcome to the theory part of this turtle station training. What we will be discussing today is how do you know that your setup is correct when you use your turtle station and that it's accurate? So I've listed three main points here to consider, but there's literally thousands more. Let's look at them. The first one is you need to know what your accuracy needs are for your survey. So there's different accuracy needs. When you do a DTM or a digital terrain model, which is mostly for contouring, for example, or getting a tree position, basic stuff, your accuracy expectation will be about 50 millimeters, for example. But looking at a construction site, your accuracy needs will typically be within 10 to 5 millimeters. So it's very important to know what your accuracy needs are for your survey because you have to form a strategy on how you would take on this survey task. The second point we can look at is check the orientation with another known point. So this means that you actually used a third independent known point to verify that your setup has been correct and is within the desired accuracy of the work that you will be doing. So we always do this because this means that if we have got a third point that checks and says that our setup is correct, we know everything is correct. But if we just use two points, the setup point and the orientation point, we can easily have changed the points around, say we forgot where we were and we in fact uh, said to the turtle station look we're actually at the prism's position and the prism is at the turtle station's position it means when you continue with your survey you'll have a massive amount of error in your survey so it's important to always use a third point to check to make sure that that does not happen to you all right the third point is your first orientation was to your furthest point and um, why do we say this so this is actually very important when you orientate to your nearest point first, let's say your nearest point is 10 meters from you, but you do not sight your prism in the center exactly. Um, and when you look at the bottom, maybe you're 10 miles out, for example. But going over a distance of 100 meters, this might have an effect of 100 millimeters so 10 centimeters so it's very important to first go to your furthest point whereas if you did the orientation to the furthest point um, and you came closer it means that your maximum error will be extremely small because you've already sighted to your furthest exact known point um, eliminating most of your orientation error from there okay so let's look at these three points a bit deeper so the first point is know your accuracy needs so when we've got a specific accuracy need on a site say it is a five millimeter accuracy need it means that we have to have the equipment to meet the need of that survey so you can't go to site thinking that oh you can work with a two meter rod uh, with your prism on the top of a two meter rod um, not knowing if your bubble is precisely correct uh, so you would rather want to get your prism as low as possible which could introduce the smallest amount of error for a survey that needs five millimeters of accuracy so always think of your work methodology on how you can achieve the correct and the desired results so and then the second point is stay in the limit and work with the accuracy in mind so Everything you do, if you're behind a turtle station and you measure a point, don't measure a point quickly. Make sure that the prism on the other side, for example, is bubbled and it is precisely correct if you've got a highly accurate job. 
if it, it's not that accurate, say your tolerance is 50 millimeters, then you won't even mind if somebody is holding it precisely bubble or not. Um, you'll just measure the point and then you'll continue with your survey. But if it's highly accurate survey, you need to conduct with a turtle station. You want to get that prism as low as possible to the ground and therefore we've got highly accurate prisms which is available. You want to make sure that the prism constant that you are using is spot on correct. So, and therefore you use a baseline, get two points measured with a tape, a normal tape bet uh, between the two points, set up your turtle station over the one point and measure to the other point and check that distance to make sure that your turtle station prism has got the correct constant. The third point is check your station before you move your turtle station to ensure that nothing has moved. So again, if you do a normal DTM survey, you wouldn't really mind if there's a small shift of 10 millimeters in your data uh, per setup. But if you've got extremely accurate work to, to be done, you want to verify before you move your turtle station that the work that you have done now is 100% correct and therefore we double check it. So you check it once with a third known point after you've done your orientation, then you'll finish your work, place your next traverse point if, they, if you need to, but come back and check that third orientation point again to make sure that there's no movement that has happened to your instrument. Alright, let's jump into the next point, which is why do you check your orientation? Well, the first point is to make sure that you're actually on the correct point. The second point is that it shows you how accurate you can expect your work to be going forward. So, for example, if you do a check and you see that you're out by 30, 30 millimeters, you can't really guarantee work with a higher accuracy than 30 millimeters. But if you do a check to a point and you're two mils out, it means that you can actually guarantee the work going forward that is accurate to about two millimeters. So it's very important to, to do a check on a third point to know what type of accuracy um, you currently have on your total station setup that you have done. So the third point is check your orientation again before you move your total station. So we said this in the previous slide, but this is so important. Because anything can happen with your turtle station while you're behind it. Your leg might bump uh, the turtle station. Small things, if you didn't step your turtle station in as hard as possible, small movements might occur and you don't know about it. So we always say, we are surveyors, double check our work. So always check your work after you have done or you're finished with that specific turtle station setup. Okay, so let's jump over to our third point. So wh why don't we work further than our first orientation or the furthest orientation? So as I've explained in the beginning, you can only guarantee accuracy of your furthest point coming closer. If you orientate to the closest point and you make a mistake of 10 millimeters, uh, over 100 meters, that 10 millimeter error can be a physical 100 millimeter, so a 10 centimeter error. So we always start with the furthest point so that we know we've got the best possible opportunity to work as accurate as possible. So the next point is the next station cannot be further than the first orientation. Obviously, the reason for this is you cannot guarantee the accuracies. So rather set out, place another Travis point forward and then use your previous orientation point as the first orientation so it means then you have double the distance going forward so try and create methods for yourself in your field to be able to work further and know your accuracies or if you're doing a resection or free station you don't necessarily have to start with your furthest point but it's always recommended um, but then include as much points on your control as possible to make sure that you work as accurate as possible that's it for today. See you guys next time.